In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can solve some shortest distance problems uh, in vector geometry. So these are some common problems that can exist. Uh, and the first one I'm going to look at is the shortest distance between a point and a line. OK, so here I've got a diagram. I've got a line L. Now, in a previous video, we've seen that a line uh, can be defined by a point on the line. So this is P is any point on the line and D is a direction vector. So this gives us the direction the, li the uh, line is pointing in. And I've got another point here, Q. Now, what I want to do is calculate what is the shortest distance from my point Q to the line. Now, we've seen that the vector equation of a line is P plus our parameter T times the direction vector D. So here I've got P plus uh, TD. Now, my value of T, as we change that, the point will move along the line or be a different point on the line. So if T is one value, the distance, which I denoted as little d here, is this. Now t could be a different value. So this distance here, you can see that this distance is actually shorter than that distance. And if I increase t a bit more, you can see that the distance increases. OK, so we've got three distances. Now it just turns out that the closest point, or the closest point along this line, which is closest to Q, is where uh, this is perpendicular. So this the line or the vector pointing from R to Q is perpendicular to the vector D. Okay, so this the length of this vector uh, R to Q that'll be the uh, shortest distance from Q to the line. Okay, so we're going to use the dot product uh, to derive an expression. So because we're saying D is perpendicular to q minus r by the geometric definition of a dot product that must be equal to zero now r is given by the equation p plus td so if i substitute p plus td in place of r i get this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to rearrange this to make t the subject so dot product is distributive so i can uh, get rid of the brackets or expand out the brackets and then i could rearrange for t so we've got uh, a fraction here with on the numerator d dot q minus d dot p divided by d dot d. Now remember the dot product uh, returns a scalar. So this is one scalar divided by another, which gives me a value of our parameter t. So the first thing you need to do is calculate what that value of t is. Then once we know the value of t, we can calculate what r is using r equals p plus t d. And then once we know what r is, the distance or the shortest distance between q and our line is the magnitude of the vector r minus q. So let's have a look at a, a worked example. So here we've got a vector equation of a line. So remember this is a vector in terms of that parameter t. And we have a, another point. So this is our uh, line and this is our point q. Okay, so uh, t from the previous slide uh, we we derived this expression now d these are my coefficients of t so my direction vector is minus 1 3 and 2 and that's dot product with q which is the um, position vector of the point q and uh, we got the same that's subtracted by the same dot product d uh, sorry the same direction vector d dot product with the point p now the point p in this case are the values 1, 2, and 3. And on the bottom, we just got d dot d. Okay, so if we evaluate those, those dot products, so we get 1 minus 10, or 1, yeah, 1 minus 10 over 14. So our, our parameter t is minus 5 over 7. So if we substitute that parameter into the equation of, a, um, of the line, so I substitute minus 5 sevenths in, in place of t here, and we get this position vector. So this position vector is the point R, which is closest to this point Q. So we've got to calculate the distance or the magnitude of the vector R to Q. Okay, so calculate Q minus R. So calculate Q minus R, we get this vector. And then we've seen on a previous video, the magnitude is we square each of these add them all up, then square root them. So in this case, we have the square root of uh, 1,594 divided by 7, which is approximately 
Okay, so that's the shortest distance between a point and a line. Um, another scenario is what is the shortest distance between two lines? So here I've got two lines, L1 and L2. Now, if those two lines intersect, well, the shortest distance is going to be zero because they intersect, so there is a point which is shared by both lines. And if those um, two lines are parallel, well, that's the same as the uh, distance between a point and a line. So you just calculate um, any point on L2 and calculate the shortest distance between that point and the line L1. So between two skew lines, we're going to have the shortest distance. So what I've got here is L1 um, is P1 plus T1 times D1. And up here, we've got P2 or L2 is P2 plus T2 times D2. So we have two separate equations of a line. Um, so R1 and R2 are points on the lines L1 and L2. Their shortest distance is given by this chord here. So this, when this chord is at right angles to both lines, we have the shortest distance between those two lines. Okay, now I can form a, a um, normal vector for the plane that L1 lies on. Okay, that's going to be perpendicular to L1. And this calculated by cross product between the direction vectors D1 and D2. So D1 is down here and D2 is up here. So this will give us a normal vector which is perpendicular to both of these lines. And I want it to be a unit vector so I divide it through by its magnitude. Now that's important, and I'll show you why in a minute. So we need n to be a unit vector. Okay, so now the distance between R1 and R2 is going to be d. So if d multiplied by the unit vector n would be R2 minus R1. So remember, n has a magnitude of 1. So if we mu multiply um, n hat by d, uh, we get the vector that starts at R1 uh, and ends up, or its head, is at R2. OK, so if, if we substitute in the vector's equation of both lines, and what I've done here is I'm going to dot product both sides by the n hat. Now, in doing so, n hat dot product with n hat, because n hat is a unit vector, this is just 1. So that will get rid of the n hat on the left-hand side. OK, so we just got 1 times D. And I've also expanded out these brackets. OK, so giving us this rather large or rather long um, expression on the right hand side. Now, N hat is perpendicular to both D1 and D2. So N hat dot product with D2 is going to be 0. And N hat dot product with D1 is going to be 0. So the second and the fourth term will cancel out. So that just leaves this, and, and we can factorise the dot product to give us quite a simple expression for the distance between the lines L1 and L2. OK, so let's have a look at this um, in practice. So this is our distance, our shortest distance between the two lines L1 and L2. So here we've got any two, this is just arbitrary equations of, of two lines. Now the first thing we need to do is calculate the normal vector. And so the normal vector is calculated using the cross product of the two direction vectors. Now the coefficients of t1 gives us minus 1, 3, and 2. So that's our direction vector for the first line. And our direction vector for the second line is 1, negative 1, and 2. So if I cross product those two, I get the vector 8, 4, and negative 4. But I need the unit vector. So the uh, calculate the magnitude, so 8 squared. Uh, 64 plus 4 squared which is 16 plus 16 uh, that will give us uh, well that's simplified down to 4 root 6 so therefore n hat is our vector n divided by 4 root 6 which simplifies uh, to this vector here okay so once you've got n hat we simply apply this formula so we subtract p1 or we subtract p1 from p2 and then dot product with n hat OK, so P1 uh, minus P2 gives us 1, negative 3, 0, dot product with n hat, and that will simplify down to minus root 6 over 6.